Welcome to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. It's St. Patrick's Day, a day where they traditionally foist green crappy beer on you, everybody pretends that they're Irish, and you know what? Not today. Today, we're going to make a good cocktail, something that's fantastic, easy to make, and it's called an Irish margarita. And guess what? It's not green, as you can tell by the thumbnail. Now, this is a shaken cocktail, and what we'll do is we will start with a little bit of simple syrup. Now this is a one-to-one -one simple syrup, meaning one part water, one part sugar. You heat it up until the sugar dissolves into the water, and then you just save it in the fridge for further use. But we're going to start with half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Your second ingredient is going to be lime juice, as per most, uh, well, pretty much every margarita, but we're going to use a total of one ounce. So what we'll do is we will just cut this in half then cut a wedge out and squeeze it directly into the glass. The third ingredient that we are going to use today is an orange liqueur. Now, I've chosen to use Pierre Ferrand. It's a dry orange curacao. You could use a triple sec or a Cointreau, but they are a little bit sweeter, and you might have to adjust your sweetness in case it's a little bit too much. But we're going to use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. The next ingredient that you're going to use is the star of the show. And what I want you to do is grab your favorite Irish whiskey. Now I'm using writer's tears. You could use Jameson or some form of the colored green or blue or red spot, whatever's up to you or red breast. But use something that you really like and adjust it as you go till you find the fantastic version of an Irish whiskey that you can go for. But we're going to use a total of two ounces, which is 60 milliliters. The next step in the creation of such a fantastic cocktail is to use some ice. And you don't want just any ice, you want fantastic ice that comes directly out of your freezer because it's all yours. But what we'll do is we will fill this cocktail glass, it's not a cocktail glass, it's a pint glass, with ice. And we're going to shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Make sure you get a good seal on here, give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes. And what you want to do now is grab yourself a rocks glass. But unlike most margaritas, I am not going to dip the edge in salt. In fact, I don't want to add any salt because I want the flavors of the whiskey to stand up. So what you want to do is just fill your rocks glass to the brim with some ice. And then what we'll do is we will just fine strain it to keep out any ice crystals. All right, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Garnish this with a lime, a lime wedge, like so. And look at that. Absolutely gorgeous to look at. It smells great. You just get subtle hints of the whiskey. Oh, that is so good. The whiskey is there. It's not overpowering. Like very many Irish whiskeys, it's lightly floral. It's well balanced with the lime juice and the simple syrup and a little bit of that orange flavor. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.